G'day and welcome to a down the line short. Uh, today we're actually on the Ballarat line near Bankbox Loop. <sighs> Excuse the heavy breathing, I've just been running. We're waiting for R761 hauling six H cars back from Ballarat. This is the first time that V line carriages have been pulled by a steam locomotive since July 1998. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Sam's deciding not to come up here for some reason. Um, he's going down beside the line down there. And yeah, we can hear the whistle of the R now. This is a very, very cool shot. Hopefully not the only one we get of it. Beautiful. Now I need to get back down this hill so we can get to our next spot, wherever that will be. Alright, so we're following along the line just past Bankbox Loop here. We're going to try and overtake it. We went a bit too far from the car to get to it like quickly. So we're probably about a minute or so behind it. We're gonna try and catch up to him, get another shot around back as Marsh, hopefully. Oh crap, it's all the way over there. We're not gonna catch it. Where? There, see? All the way over there, look at the left. We missed it at um, the bridge just at the south end of Bank Box. We're going down the hill and we're gonna try and get it at the Parwin Curves. Yeah, it's, it's the shot that we've been planning the entire day, trying to get up to here. Hopefully we make it. It's doing a massive, basically like a U-shaped curve to get down basically from like, I think it's like 200 meters or something up, up here, down to nearly sea level, down through Backers Marsh. Then it goes back uphill again, around Bull Farm Curves and then continues on to Melbourne. So, we're at Bull Farm Curves. We made it. Don't know how far away the train is, but we'll get this shot down pat. That's the shot I wanted. That's the shot we've been hanging out in Ballarat for all day. Yeah, that's the shot I've been wanting all, all week for. <laughs> Alright, so we just overtook it um, at Parwin Loop. We're now heading to Rock Bank. We will get it passing and that will probably be our last shot. That was an incredible shot of um, Bull Farm Curves. It's the shot I've been wanting, as I said to Keith, all week. Really happy with that shot. Hopefully this last one is just as good. So we're at our last shot at uh, Payne's Road near Rockbank on the 
what is now double tracks uh, section of track between uh, Deer Park and Mel Melton. This will be, as I said, our last shot. And what it's doing at the moment is it's actually stopped at Harwin Loop to cross two velocities, one down and one up. We should have the up train in about two or three minutes and then it will be following that back to Melbourne. The really cool thing about this trip and what, what the um, what the R's been doing today, it's actually been training V-line drivers to basically to get more qualified drivers on R classes. Hopefully they do more of these because it's been extremely popular. The idea of doing it is not actually new. They did it back in the 19, well, basically from 1989 till about 1998 or so, running school holiday public services to Seymour and Geelong and Ballarat and basically everywhere on the network except for Elgin. It was a way of training more drivers on R classes, K classes, the D3 did once, and it was basically following privatisation in 1998 that they couldn't do the training runs anymore. They had to train drivers on the regular excursions. Being able to do this now in 2021, like last time this happened was back in the 90s, to have mainline steam locomotives on a regular train, it's absolutely incredible. So historic day and a great idea and hopefully they do it again. The R class is actually uh, on its way now. It's we just heard its whistle, so it's probably around Melton-ish. The signal here at Payne's Road is actually still red because the velocity is still probably in the block. Uh, when we know the signal is green, we know the R class is coming. It'll be yellow first, then green. When you're train chasing, signals are actually really helpful for knowing where trains are, especially on like freight lines where they're usually always red when there's no trains around, and then they're green when there are trains around. Even on a main line like this, it's still very helpful because you know something's coming. In our case, we do know something's coming even though the signal's still red. But that should change very soon because, as I said before, we could hear the whistle and we'll probably see the smoke before we see anything else. The signal has just gone yellow and yeah, here we go. Hope you enjoyed this DTL short uh, number two. Please like, comment, subscribe, and favorite the videos as usual. And from here in Rock Bank at Payne's Road, just after the R class has gone through at what time is it? 5:26 p.m. See you next time down the line.